Welcome to the CSJA installation video. This video will instruct you on installing the cold shrinkable splice for a single core polymeric insulated or XLPE-EPR cables up to 35 kV for tape, wire, Unishield, LC shield, JCN and flat strap neutral cable. This video is for demonstration purposes only. Please refer to the product installation instructions included in your kit for exact dimensions and measurements to use. Prepare the cables as shown. A braid cable 6 inches back from jacket cutback. Using approved solvent wipe, clean the cable jacket for 30 inches on side where splice body will be placed. Place splice body over cable. Slide the splice body over the cable end so that the release strip of the spiral holdout points toward the cable end. Install shear bolt connector. Insert conductors so that the insulation butts up with the end of the connector. Hand tighten the shear bolts so that the connector stays in place. Verify the dimensions between end of lug and semicon cutbacks. Refer to your installation instructions for the correct failsafe dimensions. Follow the tightening sequence as shown in the instruction sheet. For this next procedure, you can use an impact driver or socket wrench. For the purpose of this video, we will use an impact driver. Tighten bolts until the bolts shear off. Using approved solvent wipe, clean and degrease the connector area. Install marking tape. Install several turns of marking tape onto the cable semicon from the center of the connector. This will be a guide for installing the splice body. The tape should be installed on the same side where the splice body is parked. Lubrication. With a gloved hand, lubricate the cable insulation up to the semicon cutback and tape mark with the supplied DCC or discharge control compound. Be sure to use extra DCC to form a bead around the semicon cutbacks as shown. Notice, use all of the DCC to help fill voids. Do not use standard silicon grease. Installation of the splice body. Position the splice body so that the silicone body's edge is aligned with the marking tape. Release the spiral holdout by pulling counterclockwise while holding the splice body in place. The spiral holdout cannot be pulled out all at once. Slowly pull the spiral holdout on top of the cable and then pass it around and underneath the cable until the spiral has been completely removed. Important, the splice body must remain aligned with the marking tape while the spiral holdout is released. Once the splice is partially shrunk adjacent to the marking tape, there is no need to hold the splice. Use two hands at this point to remove the remaining spiral holdout. Remove the black tape holding the ends of the mesh sock wires on the expanded joint and straighten the mesh sock wires out over the copper mesh. If using a knife, be careful not to damage the rejacketing material. Apply spring clamps and tape. Install two turns of the spring clamp over the mesh sock wires and cable metallic shield. Interweave the mesh sock wires with the spring clamp while installing the remaining turns of the spring clamp. Secure spring clamp with three layers of tape wrapped in direction of the spring clamp. 
Continue taping over ends of the mesh to cover any sharp points. Repeat on the other side of the splice. If an external ground is needed, lay the copper braid over the cable's metallic shield with the moisture block aligned with the jacket cutback and fold neutral sock over braid. Install two turns of the spring clamp over the braid, the mesh, and the metallic shield of the cable. Fold the neutral sock back over the spring clamp. Continue with the installation process. Expand rejacketing sleeve. Install a strip of gray sealing mastic at each jacket cutback. Be sure to put the mastic under and over the external ground to prevent moisture ingress. Twist the black rejacketing sleeve from side to side to release the grease. Slide the rejacketing tube over the ground braid and onto the cable jacket. Repeat for each side of the tube. Cut off the red mesh sleeve, being careful not to damage the jacket or the splice body. Connect ground braid. Install cable tie to secure the ground braid. Connect the ground braid to the system ground following your company's bonding and grounding standards.